All right, welcome back to Close Up. Manchester Mayor Ted Gatsas says he'll decide whether to pursue a fifth term in the next couple of weeks or so, but one challenger isn't waiting on his decision, and it's also a familiar foe. My next guest this morning, Democratic candidate for mayor of the Queen City, Joyce Craig. Good to see you. Congratulations nice see you. on your decision. Thank you, Josh. I got to ask you, though, 64 votes, that was what separated you in 2015 after the recount. How long did that take to get passed? It took a little while to get past that, but you know, we're certainly, when we think about what we did, uh, we're very proud of those results. Uh, it was the first time that I ever ran citywide. Uh, we had a tremendous group of volunteers working with us, um, spoke to a number of folks in the city, and 50% of the people in our city said they didn't want Ted Gatsas as mayor. So uh, we feel very good heading into this election. Yeah, so what are the issues that you're gonna be talking about here, and how is it different from just a couple of years ago? You know, it's an interesting question in that the issues are the same, and that's one of the reasons why I'm running. Um, we are struggling with an increase in violent crime, with an opiate epidemic, and with struggling schools. So, you know, we have seen a lack of leadership from Mayor Gatsas, and that's why I'm running for mayor. So what do you do differently? I mean, this, the opioid crisis is not unique to Manchester or New Hampshire, for that matter. You're right, but it does take um, some leadership from the city, uh, from City Hall. Um, someone who can bring people together to address this issue. Um, we know that uh, expanded Medicaid, uh, there's a chance of that going away. Um, in my mind, the leader of this city should be really proactively advocating for that, um, going to Concord, telling the stories of the people in Manchester, and how if that expanded Medicaid goes away, um, the, the devastation that we'll see from a recovery and um, service provider perspective. In addition, um, I hear from folks that, um, you know, there's an increase in crime because of uh, the drugs. And um, consistently, Mayor Gatzis has put forward budgets that have increased taxes and decreased police patrolling our streets. In fact, the budget that he put forward just a month ago for next year did just that, increased our taxes, and will be holding vacancies in our police department at a time, again, where violent crime is increasing and we have the significant significant opiate epidemic. Yeah, I mean, Joyce, you brought up the uh, Affordable Care Act and uh, expansion of Medicaid. We'll see what happens there. But as the mayor of Manchester, I mean, you basically have to uh, you know, play the hand that you're dealt. Um, how flexible do you need to be in this particular climate with so many unknowns? Well, you certainly have to be flexible, absolutely. But it doesn't help the folks in Manchester if you sit in your office and do nothing. Um, we, um, the mayor of Manchester, the largest city in the state, needs to proactively get to Concord and tell our story and work hard hard for the people in Manchester, and that's not happening today. Well, if you were successful, you're going to be talking to someone in Concord by the name of Chris Nunu, who has an R next to his last name, the governor, obviously a Republican. Uh, so how do you how do you get that dialogue going in a climate of, uh, you know, such political rhetoric that, you know, leads to stalemate? Yeah, I have to believe that the political re rhetoric is at the, the federal level and really believe that, you know, from a local perspective, we put politics aside. Um, I have a proven track record of working with Democrats Democrats and Republicans, um, you know, developing budgets, passing those budgets. Um, developing the budgets isn't the hard part, but getting the, the agreement and collaboration on those budgets from all different parties is, and I've proven that I can do that. Well, so let me ask you, I mean, for folks that are watching this morning uh, and say, all right, well, this is, you know, Mayor of Manchester, it's just one city, but, you know, it is the state's biggest city, perhaps its economic engine. Uh, how much collaboration do you believe should go into uh, making it a more of a statewide or at least regional uh, discussion when it comes to whether it's e economics or the opioid crisis or education? I, I think because we are the largest city in the state, there should be more collaboration on all fronts. Um, you know, there's a common saying, as goes Manchester, as goes the rest of the state. So, you know, if we are going to be the true leader in our, in our state as a largest city, we need to work with everyone. Um, there's been downshifting uh, in pension costs. Imagine if the mayor of Manchester, the largest city in the state, had collectively gotten all of the other mayors um, from the state and they had gone to Concord to talk about that. You know, that would be a powerful um, message to send to folks. And, and that's something that I would do. Well, uh, mayor of Manchester, Ted Gatsis, has uh, had the support of the police chief, uh, Nick Willard, in Manchester. Uh, so, I mean, when you point to, you know, the problems and, and the, the approach toward the opioid crisis and, and the increase in crime, um, you know, you, you have the chief law enforcement officer saying he's doing a good job. So how do you make the case that, uh, you know, he needs to be replaced? 
Well, I, I guess I talk to the folks in the city, the people who live here, the taxpayers, and when they hear that their taxes are increasing, but they're getting less for their dollar, there are fewer police officers on the street protecting them, protecting their families, um, then they're upset. So that's who I'm representing as mayor of Manchester. I mean, you've talked about your track record. Somebody says, all right, Joyce, why, why, why should I give you my vote? What do you point to? What do you say? Like, this is evidence that I can get things done. Well, again, I, I, we'll talk about the budgets. Um, I developed um, budgets when I was an alderman and got those passed. Um, they brought taxes lower than proposed budgets by, tax, uh, by Ted Gatsas and put more police officers on the street, put more teachers in the classroom, um, things that are critical to what the needs are in Manchester. Obviously, there's a lot of issues to talk about and you just launched your campaign so once again congratulations one thing that i had either forgotten or i didn't know you're also prepping for something else that's pretty big uh, coming up here your 10th consecutive boston marathon yes wow how yeah. did that start uh, it sounds like a a lot to do. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's interesting. I wasn't really an athlete in high school and sort of got into running later in life and ran a 5K, ran a 10K, ran a half marathon and then said, okay, let's do a marathon and and I was hooked and I run them uh, my husband runs with me uh, at a much faster pace but you know it's something that we share and we have a group of friends that we run with and um, it's a great experience at four in the morning sometimes at four thirty in the morning yes yeah, well you gotta fit it in somewhere absolutely All right, well best of luck to you moving forward congratulations once again on your decision and thanks for joining us on the program thank you so much Chris Craig, good to see you be right back with uh, Eddie Edwards and his consideration of a possible run for Congress stay with us